when this life is o'er, I'll fly away to a home on God's celestial shore. I'll fly away. Fly away in the morning when I die. Hallelujah, by and by. I'll fly away. When I die, hallelujah, by and by, I'll fly away. That's happy music, and we're happy today. So glad to be able to come to you on this edition of From the Shepherd to the Sheep. And today we have a guest speaker, my protege, Brother Tyler Candy. He's doing a great work for God, and we're so pleased with him and what he's doing for the Lord Jesus. We welcome him today. Brother Tyler. Hello, and welcome to From the Shepherd to the Sheep. We're so very thankful that you have decided to join us today. My name is Tyler Candy. I'm the media director here at Central Baptist Church, and we thank you so much for tuning in. Whether it is that you are watching us on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook, or you may be listening to us on our podcast. We're so very thankful for you. Would you share this with somebody today? Would you share our devotionals each and every day with somebody you know so that they also can be edified by the Word of God? And let's go ahead and open up the Word of God today. We're going to be in 1 Corinthians chapter 1. We're going to be in this chapter for all of the devotionals that I've got this month. And there are five of them, so I hope that you'll stick with us in this series this month. It is a new month for From the Shepherd to the Sheep, and we're so very thankful for a wonderful ministry opportunity here that we're able to, to do through this medium. So in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, Paul here is writing to the church at Corinth, and the church at Corinth is having some issues, and they're having unity issues. Some people are uh, following after Jewish customs, some people are following after the Greek philosophers, and some people are just wondering what's going on. And you know, when we are looking at what's going on, we have to have wisdom in our lives so that we can understand what is going on in our lives. Uh, what area of service God has for us, uh, which way to turn, right or left. And in further than that, uh, further than that, Paul here is talking about the wisdom that comes from God. And this wisdom is different from the wisdom of this world. So let's look, first of all, in 1 Corinthians chapter 1. We're going to read verses 18 and 19 this morning. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. But unto us, which are saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Now we're going to stop there. We'll pick it up next time in this, in this passage. But I want to talk about these few verses here. How he says that it is the preaching of the cross to them that perish foolishness. They, they don't quite understand what it is that we're talking about without the illumination of the Holy Spirit, then the Bible is something that's just, pay, uh, you know, words on paper. They don't quite understand what's going on. In, in Philippians, sorry, in Psalms chapter 53 and verse 1, David here says, The fool hath said in his heart, there is no God. You see, this is the foolish wisdom of the world. The preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. They just don't quite understand but unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. And praise the Lord for that. So you and I who are saved, we can have the power of the cross in our life because of what Jesus has done in our lives and what he did for you and for me. You see, Jesus is wisdom personified. He is the actuality of wisdom. He is the one that gives you wisdom and guides you in your life. And yet some people just don't quite understand. That's where we come in. We are to share the wisdom of this Bible, of this word of God, of Jesus Christ with others. 
help them to understand, bring it down to their level so that they too can come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Paul here is showing the contrast between the power of God and the weakness of man's wisdom. The word wisdom or wise in this section of this chapter of 1 Corinthians is mentioned 13 times. It is the key word of this passage. It's of the utmost importance. Paul's message was that we dare not mix man's wisdom with God's revealed message. And that revealed message is, is given to us through Jesus Christ. So the preaching of the cross, it is the preaching of the Word of God. And yet sometimes the Word of God is misunderstood. Sometimes it is despised. Sometimes it is rejected. And why is that? The power of the word has mighty influence. It has mighty influence in, yours, in your life, in, in my life, in everybody's life, if they will just open the word of God and read it. It is a devouring flame. It is a crushing hammer. It is a life-giving force. It is a saving power. It is a defensive weapon, and it is a probing tool. And all of this is true, but of the utmost, it destroys man's wisdom. The wisdom of the word of God absolutely destroys man's wisdom. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Those Greek philosophers may know some things that I don't know that are high above my IQ level. And yet I have greater wisdom than they if I follow the word of God if I allow it to work in my life. But the preaching of the word is powerful and it is important that we do that. It confounds the wise and it brings nothing to them. It gives them nothing for them. If only it is through the power of the cross, through the preaching of the cross, that you and I can have the wisdom that God has granted to, to us. And furthermore, and we're gonna look at this more in our next few devotionals on this subject, but the people who hear the word of God and are not saved may not quite understand everything that goes on. And that's okay because they, they don't have that illumination from the Holy Spirit. And so to them, it seems foolish. But for us who are saved, it is what the Bible here says, the power of God. Have that power in your life today. Claim the power of the blood. Claim the power of the cross. Claim the power of the word of God today, Christian, and share it with somebody today on a simple level so they too can understand the wisdom that God can give to them through the word of God. I hope that you'll have a great day. Contend for the faith, pray for revival, and may the Lord bless you. Thank you so much for that. What a blessing. Let's go to God in prayer. Father, we thank you so much for what we've heard today. Help us now to know for sure that heaven is our home and that we're living in the center of your perfect will. With our heads bowed and eyes closed, if you've never been saved, call upon the name of Jesus right now. He's the only one who can save you. Just pray something like this from your heart to God. Dear God, I admit that I'm a sinner. I deserve to pay for my sins. I believe Jesus died to save me, and right now I receive him into my heart as my own personal Savior. If you prayed that prayer, won't you let us know? We'd love to rejoice with you and be a help to you. And right now, I want to encourage everyone to keep winning souls and keep on living the Christian life. Father, we thank you for the Christians out there today who've been encouraged and are going to go on for you today. Help them, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You know... The only way we can live this life for Jesus Christ successfully is by His grace. Join me if you would. Amazing grace How sweet the sound That saved a wretch like me I once was lost but now I'm found was blind but now I see God bless you today
You are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. If you would like to learn more about our ministries, you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.